Hello, everybody. <clears throat> everybody being nobody yet. Um, <laughs> well, um, I said to myself, I'm going to do a live. I'm going to try to do a live every Saturday. Um, and I have been um, chomping at the bit to do this unboxing. Um, hello, Jezebel. How are you? Um, Simon from Hermit's Cave had um, had a, a brilliant interview uh, with Deborah Koff, who um, is the creator of uh, the Soul Cards, and I was just mesmerized by her artistic uh, abilities, her artwork, and um, it got me looking into the Soul Cards themselves. Um, as, as some of you know, I'm a very intuitive reader. I love imagery in cards. And from what I've seen and heard and, and all that, um, these cards are just fantastically artistic and um, very, um, I don't know, it's just very, if you're an intuitive reader, I've been told that I had to get this deck. So here we go. I'm going to do, this is the box, Soul Cards 1. Um, from Deborah Koff. There's her name down there. And uh, let's rip into this and we'll go through some of the, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, well, that interview was, uh, it absolutely was. It, it, she was an amazing, amazing uh, person. Um, as you know, I believe Simon from Herman's Cave is, a, is an amazing person. But, but she, if you saw that interview, it was just so amazing how just the art flowed from her onto the paper, it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen, which compelled me to get both sets of her soul cards. So we're doing soul cards one right now, and Matt from, my husband Matt from uh, <clears throat> Conjurer's Table uh, told me that I had to do soul cards two with him because he went and got a set. Um, so we both have a set of soul cards too. Um, so anyways, let's get into this box and uh, I yeah, there we go. We'll take this is a this is a true unboxing Because I'm taking the wrapper off and I've been waiting over a week to rip into this box. So let's see All right took the wrapper off Yeah, oh, absolutely the, the it, it I, I had said that uh, Jezebel I said that to um, um uh, Simon, it, it looked like she was actually channeling this artwork through her when, when she was um, when she was doing the, 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 the artwork. It was just absolutely amazing. Um, so you open the box, kind of slides out, and it's kind of like um, kind of packed in there like this. Uh, and um, oh, so this is like another box within a box. Wow, it's one of those trick Christmas presents. Um, Oh, wow. So this is the box inside the box. That's the front. And just even the artwork on the box is amazing. And this is the back of the box. Oh, man. It's just amazing. Um, so I'm going to pull the deck out. It is definitely a larger deck. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. So it comes with a little booklet. Um, I don't know how many pages. Let's see. Uh, yes, I do. 36 pages. So 36-page book. Um, this tells you a little bit about, you know, some info on the cards themselves. Oh! Oh! I didn't know that. So so it's a frame for card of the... That's great. I, I'm glad I knew that. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad to know that now. <laughs> um, that's, uh, that's awesome. All right, so let's get into these. Oh, my God. All right, so these are the backs. So this is the, so this is the size of a card. This is a big card. Um, I don't have a traditional tarot. I mean, I can go grab one. But this, it's a good size card. It's like a little bit wider. Um, and... I'm going to be honest, I don't know. So this this deck is pure imagery. I'm just going to hold up the cards and 
you know, when I typically do, you know, I'll read what the card is and tell a little bit about the cards. But with these, it's it's just pure imagery. And so I don't know. I, it's the first time I've seen them. So I'm just going to hold them up and, and let you guys see this amazing artwork. Like this is the first card. Wow, let's just look at that. Absolutely amazing. Um, let's go on to this next card. So the cardstock, um, I it, it's pretty standard, a little firmer, th I think, than some of the other cards I've seen. Like not a lot firmer, but it's it's got a bit less bend. Um, so, um, yeah, and let's see what this one is. Oh my God, just look at this artistic artwork. It's amazing. It's the next card. Wow. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, and it's a kind of a gloss finish on the card. It's a little glossy. You can see if I aim it at the light, you can kind of see. I've got a ring light here, but you can see how glossy it is, which is, which is not a bad thing. But look at that. I mean, this... This artistic, this artwork is amazing. And from what I understand, these are done with touch drawing. If you, if you saw the interview, uh, the interview that uh, that Sam from Hermit's Cave did, um, which it's hard to explain. It's almost like silk screening, but you put some, you know, you put something down. You put like a platform with with the ink on it, and then you just ch touch um, the the image and draw it with your hands. And with the different colors, I guess, is different layers. That's how I'm understanding it. It's great if you, if you really want to see her, uh, how she does this stuff, um, just hop over to Hermit's Cave and, and just, it's just a great interview. Uh, and just watch through that and just see how she makes that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I view... Um, so this, this is this card. So I view, yeah, I view the artwork in a whole new way. It, it's, for me, it's beyond that. I view, um, oh, this one here. Yeah, so I'm not, this is the first time I'm seeing this deck. And <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait to start working with them. This, that's an amazing, oh, so, so emotional, these cards. Love it. But yeah, um, my view on the... It, it changed my view on artists altogether. Um, and the best way I can uh, describe it, as I was telling Simon, is... Um, Hi, Theo. How are you? Um, it's almost like channeling. It, it, she was channeling, just effortlessly creating art and it's just it, it, it was just it's just surreal if if, if you've seen that uh, that interview like this is uh this is a great card it's the first time i've seen it but look i i see almost i get almost like a hermit slash grounding vibe off of this card if i was to use it in a reading it's amazing with the with the root structure it's like you know either a need to get um grounded and uh and such, yeah, I was enchanted, it, yeah, it, it was absolutely an enchanting interview, uh, especially just watching her demonstrate how she created the, the artwork, it's absolutely amazing, I actually want to try it, um, it uh, probably won't be as um, <laughs> impressive as hers, but it's, it's just, it's so cool, I actually want to try it, this is kind of um, reminiscent of a I mean, I look at this and I see reminiscence of a sun card, but, you know, this is not really a traditional tarot deck. Um, it's all imagery, and, and, and it's just gorgeous. Uh, this, this face just kind of stares right into your soul when I see this. It's just amazing. Let's go on to the next one. Ever, oh, my God. It's the first time I'm seeing these cards, and I haven't seen a disappointing one yet. I love this with the fish and, and the face. Oh my, it's just so creative. So creative. Let's go on to the next card. 
Oh, wow. Wow, look at this one. That is amazing. Oh, yeah. I, you got to let me know um, how that works when you try it because I, I'm, I'm going to try it too. Um, next weekend, um, I have a four-day weekend and it's perfect. I'm sure Matt and I will be here bored and I'm going to just give this a try. You know, get a small piece of, you know, a small setup and let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, look at this. It was kind of a scary card, but you know, you need, you kind of need that, right? Let, let's backtrack a little bit. You kind of need those cards, really, right? Um, this is one, it is a little scary. It's like, you know, if this card comes up in a reading, it's almost like, oh, proceed with caution. It's, it is, it's a little scary. And I like that mix of scary, you know, and then fo followed up by this card, which is almost angelic, um, yeah, it's a pretty positive card. Yeah, exactly. There's such a mix so far, and I've only scratched the surface of this deck. And it's just gorgeous. Um, oh, here's another one. This one's a little darker. Look at that. Almost, uh, I don't know, is it like the guy there, almost like a little bit of a struggle ahead of him, you know? Or <clears throat> is that an eye? Is he being watched? It's very... Yeah, it's a very, it, it, well, I'm learning that so far, it's a deep and balanced deck. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've seen them. So it just doesn't disappoint. It's so fascinating. And in case I didn't show you, this is the back. Even the backs are cool. All right, that's the back. All right, on to the next one. Oh, do we have someone or something on our mind? Look at that. I mean, it's just, some of these images just, you know, if you get a, yeah, it could be seeking, thinking, right? Fantastic. Just, just amazing. I'm such an intuitive reader because that's kind of how I read. You know, my go-to deck is the Wizard's Tarot. Um, and I just love imagery. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Look at that. Now, I've seen some comments go by. I don't know. Oh, it's going to get wobbly. Oh, no, I'm going to cancel that. Um, got to work out a system where I can actually have the comments scrolling. Yes. Oh, that's what that comment was. All right. Let me back up. Yes. Yes. Sarah. Yes. That, I thought the same thing. It's like the eye of Sarah. <laughs> yeah, this is a peaceful card. Um... Almost like in a prayer position, maybe have faith. Um, you know, it, 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 it could speak so much. That's why I love um, intuitive reading. I don't know how to take this one. Here, let's get that one. Could almost be a traveling, but it looks like the guy's traveling backwards, you know. <laughs> but it, it could be like, um, like a traveling, like similar to a chariot on a traditional deck, right? But it's just gorgeous. Oh, could this be similar to like a Wheel of Fortune, maybe? What kind of vibe do we get from that? It's just so cool. See, like the face going around. I don't know what that's in the center, but there's like a face going, kind of encircling it. It looks like to me, it's just so cool. Oh, this one. Just amazing to, to see her actually create this this artwork in front of your eyes it's, it gives a whole new meaning but just beautiful artwork and now i heard so i have soul cards too and i heard a lot of people actually combine the two and make one mega deck so i'm thinking of doing something like that um oh yeah i love them all i i love them all so far but i haven't seen one that i don't like let's put it that way um, it is the first time I'm seeing this deck, so. But this one's interesting, too. Yes. Yeah, like glimpsing, it, it is. Everything is so, um, I didn't think of the word. I don't want to say dreamy. 
because that sounds hokey, but yeah, so surreal, like not of this world, but some other, which is why when she was creating that artwork, it was like um, channeling. I have one giant deck. Look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. What's this one? This one looks a little, I don't know. Right? This could be a little ominous looking. But it could be peaceful looking. There's a peaceful expression on the face, so maybe a welcoming or something. You know, but it just it depends on how you initially see it. They're so beautiful. And I love the use of color. Almost like a watercolor vibe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's me when I step on a Lego. Yeah. Absolutely. Or when I that's me when I accidentally kick the cat dish. Could be happy old grandma, yeah. Yeah, you know, you, I, you know, I'm, unfortunately, my, you know, I'm older and my grandparents have been dead quite a while. But, you know, you remember going to your grandparents' house and at least in my family, it was, you know, the old big wet kiss and pinch on the cheeks. It's, I get that vibe from this card. Like the whole welcoming grandma pinch the, the chubby cheeks sort of thing. Um, this one here, what do we get from that one? Interesting. Again, it looks, if you look at her, it's a very peaceful pose. Just a, just fantastic imagery. Um, ah, this one's interesting. Maybe look into your own self, um, self-contemplation. Right? I see like almost, I don't want to say split personality, but there's a duality to this one. It's just balance, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. You see how like the, the imagery, it's so open to interpretation, um, which is why I love decks like this. Oh, look at this one. Soulmate, that's the, absolutely. I gotta show that one to Matt. Um, very loving, absolutely. Yeah, right, let's back up. I, I don't mind backing up. Right? Yeah, it could be two heads together. You know, initially I saw one person, you know, split, but it could be a couple. Right? Heads together. In a, in a like, a loving posture. It's amazing. Oh, okay. Back to this one. What do we get here? Like, holding power within their hands. Like, that's what I see. Um, again, a very positive, maybe a mentor or a teaching or... Fantastic. On to the next one. Oh, here's an interesting one. This one's got some markings on it. So awesome. And I don't know what those are, if it's just like random markings. Um, I'll have to read the book and get more info. But this is an unboxing. I haven't seen these before, so we're going to go through them. But it's just really cool. Oh, now, oh, look at that. This is interesting. Oh, yeah, that could be. Hermit, sacred geometry. Absolutely. I didn't even think of that. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, look at this one. Magician. Yes, that could be a magician. Absolutely. Um, what's this one? You see a face with a bird almost like coming out of out of the mouth, maybe? Um, interesting. Fantastic. Ah, oh, I like this one, too. Breath of Life. Abs yes. Like, I was thinking the same thing, but I, I want to leave it to interpretation. Bre Breath of Life. Speak of Life. Absolutely. Um, now there's this one. Which is funny because uh, blowing peas, yeah, yeah, blowing peas. Now that this one is like a butterfly behind her, um, this could be like, um, well, every card has so many, me yeah, that's what it is. It's so many, and when I, when I intuitively read, um, I like to see the context of the cards beside them. 
Because, like, if you put these two, oops, that one's backwards. You put these side by side, right, they almost could go together. Right, you've got Breath of Life, and then you have... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you didn't get the notification. Um, hello, Simon. Welcome, Simon. The inspiration for me getting this deck, and I, I've waited so long. It seems so long. It's only been a week to do this unboxing. Um, but now you have life surrounded by life, right? Because she's walking, there's a butterfly flying around her. It's funny, it comes right after the, the, the Breath of Life card, as, as someone mentioned. Um, oh, look at this one. This is so beautiful. Uh, no, just, just started. Um, I'm probably a quarter of the way through. Um, look at this one. <laughs> Daddy Duck. Yeah. But th these cards are just gorgeous. I wish I had I wish I had a tenth of the artistic ability. Here's another duality card, really. Um but look at this. That the the faces of the figures are in an, the opposite directions. So much but they're holding hands. Like so much can be gleaned from these images. Just amazing. Oh, another, that's the next card. It almost looks like, sorry, I didn't put that. I'm, at, at first look, it almost looks like she's holding a giant precious gem. Um, it could, you know, so many things. Um, new child on the way, because you've got a motherly figure holding something precious. Um, it's just so much you can get. Yeah, absolutely. That's like I'm trying. I'm trying not to. <laughs> so I'm trying to go through them because I'll be here all day. Uh, but yeah, so many different meanings can come from these these cards. And there's this one. Just amazing. Let me make sure we get a good view. Just amazing. Oh, look at this one. Right. She's got a little bit of uh, kind of a taken aback, you know, taken back expression on her face. Maybe in thought, maybe sad, right? Exactly. Exactly. She's a little bit sad thinking about something, maybe recent loss or, or something like that. Um, here's another one, another card. And yet I love the, the cards with multiple figures in them. You know, you don't see that. I mean, I don't... You know. this, the, it, such, Deborah is such an amazing artist, uh, Simon. I, I, like I was saying, it's almost like when watching that interview and watching her just create the artwork, it was almost like channeling. Like, I... I was tingling watching that. It, it was so moving. Um, here's the next card. Right, and like so, you can get so much from these. She's, she's lifting, like releasing, it could be like releasing negative energy, right? She's, it looks almost like a pot with stuff flowing out of it, right? And it's close to her head, but just just releasing um, spent energy back into the universe, or back into the earth. Um, so much, so much. Oh my goodness! Now remember the breath of life card. Well, look at this one. What about that? This is so moving. Wow. That's the next card. Now this person, this figure, she has her hands dirty. Could mean that, right? Um, it could be this card could come up in a reading and say, "Hey, watch what you're, watch what you're meddling in," you know. 
Um, that's just the, the quick image, that pop, the thought that pops into my mind at, at first sight. But they have so many different meanings. Right? Fantastic. Well, this one's a little wild. Let's make sure I don't get glam on there. Such, such inspiring artwork. And it is that this, uh, this artwork comes from like out of this world. He has a, a sunny like card, could be like a sun card, you know, like the sun. Sunshine, very bright, very positive. I love the mix of positive and, and you know, all light and dark. I don't like to say negative, but you know, I guess you need negative cards, right? Because we need balance, but there is such a good balance of, of positive and negative. Now this is an interesting card. Let's check this out, right? You see the figure sitting there. If you go like this, <laughs> it's a face. Oh my God, so amazing. So amazing. <laughs> I love this deck. I absolutely love this deck. Ah, here's the next card. What is this? Right, I see like a darker figure and a lighter figure, embrace darkness, um, or it could be, yeah, I mean, so much. A guardian angel, absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely guardian angel. Yeah, because it actually, when I look at it, you know, when I face it to me and look at it, it definitely looks like angel wings um, kind of wrapping around. Wrapping around the, the person in the card. Oh, look at this card. Hold on, I'm going to look at this for a minute. Yes. The, um, I don't, uh, Theo, I'm not sure. I actually, I haven't done much readings. Um, I do readings for people with my Wizards Tarot. Um, but I'd like to dig into this t deck because I love interpretive reading and just try to do some readings. Uh, but look at this card, right? Um, this could be taken, like and when, I, when I initially look at it, someone's impairing sight or blinded. Um, you know, don't be uh, blinded by someone who may be trying to hide the truth from, from you, right? Could mean that, just so much. But yeah, I would love to. I, I'd have to. Um, oh, the great! Oh, fantastic, Jezebel. So you do read with these? Um, I can't wait to try. Um, I, I I have to get familiar with them first. Um, but yeah, judging by these images, uh, the imagery in here, I think they're going to be a lot of fun to read with. Look at this, very warming. Uh, I I see a very cool tones in the imagery. But then the figure is very vibrant and warm and very welcoming, right? Awesome. Let's see, on to the next one. Oh, this one's cool. Right, I think, I think glass half full. I don't know why I thought glass half full. I'm kind of a, I don't know, I'm kind of a glass half full. Sometimes I'm glass half empty. Really, Simon? I did not know that. Ah. Ah, so you've read with this for quite some time. So you're really familiar with these, with these decks. Um, absolutely amazing. This is such a cool, cool card. It's funny, it looks like it's ha only half full. And there's the figure in there. But if you look at the spot, it looks like it's overflowing. Kind of like dual meanings. Like, what does that mean? Right? Don't think, don't think, um, don't, don't think glass half empty because in reality, your glass may be overflowing. Right? Could be a message there in that, in that card. You know how we sometimes get into the whole, woe is me, my glass is half empty, when in reality, you're overflowing. That's, that's what that card could be saying. Here's another one. I haven't looked at it. Oh, man. It's very fiery. And I love the, the, 
the the placement of the little emblems or symbols that she's got throughout some of the pictures. But look at this one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's right. A, a jug f uh, overflowing. Let's, let's pull this one back up. Uh, yeah, a jug overflowing, filling itself. Again, yeah. Your jug may be half empty, but it's always filling itself. So is it really... So it may be half empty, but it'll never be truly empty. Kind of makes you think. <laughs> I love... I love cards that make you think. Oh, look at this card. <clears throat> now this could be... I, I get isolation from this card. Oh, that's what... Oh, so that's a new one. Oh, cool. But like when I see this card, almost like... Um, Okay, let, yeah, let me, um, hold on, I'll back up a little bit. So this one here, the, the jug card, this is new, huh? Well, they're all new for me. <laughs> it is such a cool, such a cool card. Um, so what do we see here? I mean, this would be, to me, this would be um, uh, almost like the equivalent of maybe a hermit card. I see someone kind of way out in the distance. Um, kind of isolated by themselves. Oh, I didn't know that, Simon. So she's, she, she kind of sw swapped a few of them around. That's, that's cool. Like I said, I was saying earlier, I have soul cards too. Um, I'm going to do the unboxing of that one with Matt, I believe, later today. And I'm thinking of combining these two um, and, uh, you know, making that mega deck. Yeah, absolutely, Jezebel Savo. Um, the figure, if we pull this back up and um, get closer, it is a very sorrowful posture that the figure has. And then, yeah, isolated and alone. Um, this is a similar card, but could this mean trapped? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I was talking about Matt, and I might have... To, uh, I was talking about that with Matt, Simon. Um, that's probably what <laughs> we're going to do, is get um, combine them and get two separates. They're very reasonable. Um, this one was, I think, $19, and the other one was $24. Um, that could be... Yeah, Jezebel, that could be a seed sprouting... A womb, absolutely. You see how you can get dual meetings? And that's why, you know, it's going to depend on um, the context. When I when I read, like, with my other deck, I love context of cards. So if I see this, and it's probably why I got the more trapped vibe from this card. Because coming off of the, the, the Sorrow Isolation card, the next emotion would be trapped. But, you know, if you see this maybe like this absolutely or even like this you could see womb sprouting into into a being absolutely so I keep these in order that's why i love this oh my god look at this card i have some people on my mind <laughs> i'm thinking of you um but again a very look at the expression on her face very um content could be like um, family, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, I like the element, um, the imagery element of these cards too. You get a lot of water and a lot of like, like this could be almost fire. Yeah, ancestors, absolutely. Yeah, that's why I say you know, family or think or or being guided by ancestors. Absolutely, protectors, guardian angels. Yes, yes. Uh, this one reminds me of like the life tree. Look at that. You know, when you put this beside the other one, that that looks like a uh, seed sprouting, right? So what do you what if you get something like this in a spread? I love how these can kind of go together, right? Seed sprouting, and this is, you know, the result, maybe. 
Uh, Theo, nice to see them like a crown. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, well, we have to go on to a card that could be... I see more of a sad card here. Yeah, <laughs> I like that too, Theo. Interesting. What about this one? I see someone... I see some sadness. This also could be isolation. He's in a bubble. Um, or maybe in this case, it's self-inflicted, right? Because it looks like he's kind of holding to himself and... It could be, um, yeah. You know, like one of those times, and I, and I get them, where I just want to be alone and, and um, just kind of be by my, you know, just kind of think and just contemplate, almost like a hermit card. Um, affairs of the heart. Yeah, all, see, all of these, absolutely. I see this card. It reminds me of, like, you know, the rest of this year. So we have Thanksgiving next week. And it's usually a big family holiday. And Matt and I decided that with all that's going on in our lives, we're going to just kind of stay home and do a nice little Thanksgiving, just us two, and focus on ourselves. And we're at Christmas, we're traveling, and we're going to be surrounded by tons of people. Right? You, everyone has the need for these, for these times, right? Self-reflect. Isolation. Oh, this one's interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Simon. Oh, what about this one? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Simon. I try to be balanced. Doesn't always work out that way, though. <laughs> um, this one's almost... I almost get a cyclone vibe. Turmoil. Yes. Yeah, Endless Scream, sure. Um, it's got that, yeah, no, absolutely, because that is the mouth. And true, time has no, mer and time, you know, that's one thing that's true. Oops, sorry, I keep bumping the table. Time has no mercy. Time just keeps on marching, you know. Um, it could be downward spiral. Being consumed by someone. Have you ever known someone in... A really bad relationship where the you know uh, they're being consumed by the other person could be something like that too wow oh look at this all right here's a card on um, this one I'm gonna hold it from up here you read splashes again emotion yes but look at this one. This one's this one's almost like brotherhood, camaraderie, family, right? You see everyone together, um, and they're looking up at the world. Interesting. We are the world. Yeah, global community. Absolutely. Inclusion. Um, you know, world peace. Um, then we're gonna move on to this one. This one, I get a little bit more of a darker vibe. Really? Um, or maybe it's just a color. Well, no, she's holding a tree. Maybe stop and take a rest under a tree. Um, Gaia. Not sure. Not sure what that... Oh, that <laughs> that's Mama. Could be. Yeah, could be thought of it that way but yeah oh here's another one yeah I so can't wait to start working with these cards it's very interesting you know I see almost like two people intertwined in an in, in embrace the arms of an angel absolutely um, or the arms of a loved one or just a, a loving embrace. Um, yeah, Jezebel, the colors are absolutely stunning. I don't even know if the camera does them justice. They're just so vibrant. Um, oh, this is an interesting one. What is that coming out of her mouth? I don't know what that is. But look at this one. Again, another mind's eye, maybe? 
Um, yeah, absolutely. This one, this one's almost hard. You know, it, it's almost um, mind's eye, uh, or, or you know, just thinking of spiritual matters, stuff like that. Interesting. Oh, look at this one. Oh, God, you're right? <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, let's go back, right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but what about this one? You see a face on top and a face on the bottom, but outstretched hands. Um, I get uh, offering help to a friend, offering help to someone in need, like the helping hand. Very interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, we have this one. What's funny about this one, I believe, if we look closely, that's a face over there, right? Almost like a kiss on the cheek. Um, but I get a little bit of um, a dark vibe from the, the closed eyes and the head laying sideways. Maybe... Um, a kiss goodbye, maybe someone, maybe an indication of someone um, leaving this world. Um, uh, manipulation, maybe. I don't I really see manipulation, but I, I guess. Um, oh, I see. Well, if we hold the card this way, yes. Like a snake putting words in the mouth. Yeah. I see. Right? That's it. Open open your eyes. Could be. So this is why I love imagery like this, because it's so interpretive. Um, here's another cyclonic card. But what I see in this card is almost uh, going in circles. So not so much downward spiral, but stuck in one secular, you know, circular pattern. It's kind of the vibe I get from this one. Very interesting, because if you look closely, that's kind of like a head. But now, is he breathing fire? Oh. Very, and very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, as I look at it, because like I hold it up to the camera, I can't see it that well, but I look like this. There's definitely, and it seems, when I look at this spiral, it seems self-inflicted. Right, if you look closely, the spiral is coming out of that face, out of the mouth. So maybe a, a self-inflicted downward spiral. Oh, I got this one here. This one's almost another motherly card. When I see the figure with arms like that, it just reminds me of a, a pregnant woman. And so it reminds me of maternal thoughts. But she's not happy. She looks like concerned or, you know, just very pretty. Absolutely. All of these cards are just stunning. They're, they're, they're all pieces of, of art. Oh, look at this one. Oh, please excuse the noise at the garbage, the trash collectors going by massive truck but look at this one um i see if you look there's like a i guess a guitar in there um <clears throat> and this is almost another angel right with the wing you know divine inspiration absolutely it's exactly what i was was thinking right you think um yeah almost like nativity seek sure i was thinking more of inspiring um music um i don't say like like church music but like with, with the holidays coming up right all of the holiday music that we're going to hear for the next from now until three days after christmas <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> um look at this one that almost looks like an egg and there's like multiple hands from the side going around it and you know, you got the, the figure in the background almost presiding over it or praying or, you know. 
Right, interesting. Very interesting. Oh, we're getting to the end of the deck. Oh! There's another, kind of another face card. Very interesting. Look at the eyes. The eyes peer right into the soul. That is what I, that, that is one thing that just strikes me with the, the emotion. Yeah, old wise one looking, peering right into your soul because he's wise enough to do that and give you that guidance that you need. Um, this one's interesting too. Interesting. I see almost... Is that a sword he's holding? Is it impending battle? Danger ahead? Be, be cautious? Or is that someone going to fight your battles for you? It's going to depend on how it comes in a sped, right? You could have a strong ally who's going to help you fight your battles. Um, could go either way. Uh, what do we got here? Right. Now, if you look at this card, right, there's one face looking at another, right? And she's looking up. Again, another divine inspiration card, maybe, or maybe guardian angel, or maybe thinking of a, a past loved one, you know? Oh, we're down to the last card. Oh, my God. What a... Oh my goodness. Oh my goddess. Look at that. So now we have, it looks like, is, yeah, it's like another embrace. Right? Is that one figure, again, is this another angel? Is that an angel wing and the arm going around? Just, just stunning. So, I mean, from what I've seen, I love this deck. I love this deck. Oh my goodness. And like I said, you know, it's got a little bit of a gloss to it. Um, and a little, little, little gloss. Gloss, listen to me, gloss. And uh, very interpretive. Um, and yeah, they're larger cards. Uh, let me see. Hold on one second. I want to give you guys an idea of the size. Let me just go grab a deck. Let me grab a deck. Okay. So, to give you an idea of the size. So this is one of my Wizards Tarot cards, which is a pretty standard size card. So this is the difference, right? If we put this, if we put this like this. So that's a, that's quite a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you the top of the wish, the, these cards made it to the top of my wish list probably 10 minutes into uh, Simon's interview. I, I was like, I have got to get these cards. And I'll tell you, I really, really, really encourage all of you to hop over to, the, to, um, to Simon's channel, The Hermit's Cave, and watch this interview. It, especially if you've used these cards and you have these cards and you haven't um, seen that interview, it just brings more meaning to this artwork when you see Deborah just make and create that, that art right in front of your eyes. It's amazing. Um, but this is, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my unboxing. Um, I hope you guys loved it or liked it. Um, and uh, thanks for joining. Um, I'm going to try. So like I said, Matt and I, um, I think he posted around 6.30. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got a new neighbor, and he is drilling the living shit out of the apartment. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, 
I've had I've had that happen. Now I'm in a house now. It's a small little house, and it's kind of in a pretty squishy neighborhood. So they're working on the house next door, and I hear the the, the noise too. Um, but but yeah. So I think today at six thirty Eastern, we are going to. We being Matt and I are going to be doing the unboxing of this guy, the Soul Cards 2, which I can't wait. Um, and, uh, you know, please join us for that if you can. And thanks. Thanks for joining. It's been good having you. And I'll be back next. I'm going to try to do these every Saturday morning because um, it just seems to be a good time for me. And, uh, you know. <laughs> Bell press, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Um, and if you're in the U.S., have a great Thanksgiving. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you.